<laughs> Welcome back to Lonely Muffin. We're going to run off off in the demo of getting off Karen's ship and going back home. We have to see if there's anything new that's changed, though. The door's locked. Let's see if the key works. Mm-hmm. Found some medium food. Under the blankets? Eh, sure. Oh. <laughs> what is this? What, what? What is it even? Let's see if it has a name. No, I have no idea. You try to pick up the book, but it's nailed to the table for some reason. The current page states, Under one of the blankets lies what you're looking for. The others are filled with tiny beasts. The blade will show you the one you're looking for. Choose wisely. Blade. I don't get what that means, but... The blade is there, but... This one? Okay. There it is, so we won, huh? Yep, nah, well done, buddy. Now let's head back to the... Car... Why is he saying Sharon? Is that on purpose? Is it pronounced Karen? Supposedly pronounced Karen? I have no idea, don't, don't judge. But he's calling him Sharon because it, it just rhymes? I don't fucking know. There you are, I was waiting for you. We found the letters, that means we won, right? I know you, and yes, you are the winner! So, uh, what's the cool price? Price! That I was promised. Alright, let's get to that. Your price is the most valuable thing a man could ask for. It's not my gift, but something you should always feel grateful for. Uh, life? Jesus. <laughs> I totally didn't see that one coming. Yeah. Uh, boss fight again? And that's just the end. Oh. Oh, we, we won everyone else lost their lives for not winning? Everyone's gone! We're the only ones left! How could that happen? I didn't see anything for a second. Calm down, I just had a little snack. That's just how I do it. I'm sailing the world and grab some snacks along the way. An old monster like me has to stay young somehow, you know. And you spared us because I already told you. It's your price for winning my little game. That's cruel, Scully. You didn't know about this, did you? Ah, oh, hell yeah, I did. And I told you, the price is freaking awesome. Yawn. Enough sleep. Gotta win game now. Easy there, big guy. The game is already over. Me, a loser? Yeah, but don't worry. Next time you'll win. Sup? Why? Why me always a loser? No fair. Useless me. I don't want to sound insensitive, but why was that guy spared? Oh, come on, Muffin. I wouldn't ever hurt any part of you. Uh, what? He's a part of me? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. He's apparently a part of me in some way. Since you got the letter, why don't you open it? Why ask me? It's yours, isn't it? You're right. You're on the envelope that says, For Muffin. What the hell? It almost seems like it was your destiny to find that letter. Almost. That's weird. Who'd write me a letter? What are you waiting for? Open it. That dude? Don't go there. You should have stayed in your little room. When you remember the thing you tried so hard to forget, there is never an exit. Is there? Wait, what, what, what's happening? That thing, where is everyone? Scully and Pepper. Leave me alone, please. Eh. Nah, I think it's kind of pointless to fight, so I mean... Eh. Now let's do auto-attack. What are you doing? What is your purpose? Where is she? Leads to a question of how the big angry thing is part of this character, Lonely Muffin, and who was locked up in the room anyways at the home? Where the fuck am I? What? Cannot see shit, but I think I'm wandering in a weird, ex 
extremely dark forest. If I turn up my screen brightness, ah, oh, there we go, I can see now. Oh, it's more dark purple than my monitor can handle. What? Invisible walls? Woot. Hello? A little... A little weird, but okay. Odd. Oh, out of the cave. Ugh. I'm sorry, but I have... I had to leave, but you left me no other choice. My... Buddy, you're awake. We arrived, Muffin. Your journey is but done. I was gone, wasn't I? What, what just happened? What are you talking about? You fell asleep after opening the letter. The letter, right. Where did I put it? It flew off the ship when you fell asleep. Oh, well, it was just a letter, right? Yeah. Come on, what are you guys waiting for? I have places to be. Cool, thanks for the ride, Karen. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Hmm. Lost game again. Why always lose? Why? Are you ready to go? To be honest, I'm getting kind of seasick. I almost laughed my ass off when you dropped that letter. All this hard work for nothing. Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Muffin. It's a pleasure getting to know you. Good luck on your journey. Hmm. Well, great parking. How are we supposed to go through this thing? I don't know. Let's just go around or something. Are you sure this is not the, not the place for climbing? Why? Why would you want to cl go climbing when it's not dangerous? Where's the point in that? You must be crazy. Oh. Move out of the way. Urgh. Um, punching a boulder won't make it go away, you know. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Big rock gone. Wait, where are you going? Are you with Karen? Lost game, lost purpose, lost self. This is a game, there's no need to be that upset. I mean, you got the same price as me, we got to live, isn't that good enough? Don't care, I want to win, this sucks. What's his deal? Doesn't matter, right? We're finally home. Finally. Everything looks... similar. You can punch this rock, maybe. A strange boulder just seems to be blocking your path. That sucks. Did the rock get flown from way over there, or is that just a different rock? And we'll be able to get that character, and we'll be able to have him to punch shit for us. Wait, how do I get to that? His hand's in my goddamn way. Oh, 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 or, or not. Tears. You've reached the end of the Loft Lake. Have a good fall. Hold on, something's weird. This wasn't here before, was it? What are you talking about, buddy? This is off Lake, don't you remember? It is, but some things change. I could swear that this wasn't here before. I think something happened here, but I can't remember. Of course you can't. You fell off when we were here for the first time. Oh, this was when we first met. I just fell off? Wasn't there something else? Well, whatever it was, doesn't matter anymore, right? Let's not waste any time. Maybe. I mean, the dude was... The dude was standing up there on a rock. But I don't think that guy's real. Just Scully can see him for some odd reason. I don't know. These enemies should be weak and easy-peasy, I'd imagine. Whoa, hold on, you guys. Are you... Oh, I remember you. I... I see you still don't have your body back, huh? What do you mean? I wouldn't want to trade my new body for anything. But you wanted us to get your body back, didn't you? Can't remember. Anyways, I'm glad you didn't. Why the sudden change of mind? We were just gone for a day or even less. Before this, I was just a regular guy. I had my worries, had my limits. I always asked myself, when will I visit that lake? But look at me now. I am the fucking lake, baby. Well, it's good to see that you're satisfied, but uh, how exactly were you, were you supposed to... Be getting your body back in the first place. I don't know, man. I probably just talked a lot of shit yesterday. Wasn't really used to this body yet, but now I am, so I'm good. What about you, though? I uh, had a pretty rough fall over there. Seen a lot of people fall, but none of them returned yet. Oh, I, I'm not really sure, I guess. I just had a lot of luck. I see. Welcome back. See you around. Let's fuck this thing up.
Me eh, fucked up. Maybe it got a little powered up, maybe, just to make it so it's balanced. Who knows? I still want to just leave this area. I want to see if that dude that was standing in the distance has moved, too. Ah. Ah, what the... This is not off-city. What are you saying? It totally is. No, no, no. Th this is not my home. I knew something's wrong. Looks normal to me. Hee hee hee. Scully knows shit's up. Muffin, are you alright? I need to go home. But home's over there. What's... What the, I don't even know what the fuck this thing's up... Or, or where the finger dude is. The entrance is blocked. Here, off-city, left outside. Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, cool finger. Kiddo, is that you? Oh, it's you. What's going on here? What do you mean? Everything is... Where everything is like it's always been. Enjoy your day. What are you saying? Everyone is gone. Everything looks weird. Wait, what? You've been gone for a whole day. Things change. But not like this. I need to go home. Something's off. Alrighty. Huh? What? I'm gonna have to see if I can read what he's saying, besides repeating that. No? Okay, well, I can't read it. It went- wait, I didn't hit any buttons to make him speed up talking. That was natural. Alright. An entrance is blocked. Is this even reality, or am I still asleep, or did I get comatose after the fall? I think we suffered brain damage. Aww. The door has been unlocked. Which one? That's one. That's one locked. Okay, he says... The door has been... I'll check the other previous doors just to see if he meant the previous ones or if he means the one ahead. No? Okay. Not sure what he's referring to then. Probably a door ahead. But... The doctor says there's something. What? what? Huh. Well, this is sort of my house, but not my house. Muffin, is this your house? Yeah, I couldn't believe it at first, but this is it. Everything is around changed, so why is my house still intact? We'll find out until we go in, right? Yeah, but I'm scared what will wait for me inside. Don't be a chicken. Opening doors is what life is all about. Be brave. Hmm. Is it the same on the inside? Nope, it's kind of fucked up. And the door that he kept sealed is closed. Where is my wardrobe? I want to change my clothes and my bed is fine. How, how about my toilet? My toilet doesn't exist. This is not my house. Alright, well, time to go in the forbidden room. All the cactuses are dead so they can't stab me at least. The door has been opened. So what, maybe you just left it open before you left? No, the door is always locked. I think I've never opened it. Really, why not? A demon lives behind the door, at least that's what I believe. I don't know why that door was locked. Maybe I knew it once, but I don't anymore. That sounds really scary. Maybe that demon was the cause of the city being ruined. Yawn. So we going in or what? Are you serious? I don't want to die. Why not? Where is the joy in life when there's no risk? Man, you're a freaking weirdo. Skelly's right. Huh? Nice. Why do you say that? There's no way back, right? There's nowhere else where we can go now. Might as well just go straight ahead. Right. Damn it. That's more like it, buddy. All right, lead the way. Hmm. I have been waiting, Muffin. A, a blue one. To be continued. Oh. Reparoni. Lonely Muffin. Game by Spectrophobia. Music outrageously stolen from Space Funeral, Yumi Nikki, Yumi Tu Tu Kiki, Anemone, eh, Anemone, Anemone. Fuck it, I don't know. People are just gonna go crazy. Hey, Animal Crossing Berserk. Music from Berserk? I didn't hear it. BBC Radio, Ruth White, Delia. That's a lot of music. Massively inspired by Space Funeral, Yumi Nikki, Silent Hill, and Toilet in Wonderland. And created with RPG Maker 2003. 
Steam version. Idea graphics and stuff by Spectrophobia. A special thanks to Sad Nugget for beta testing the game. This is the end of the demo one. If you want to give feedback or if you have any questions, boop boop boop. I'll be working hard on this game as soon as possible, uh, or working on this game in order. I will be working hard on this game in order to finish it as soon as possible. Thank you for your patience. Thank you so much for playing. Awesome. Well, that man is Lonely Muffin. So we apparently this person's I don't know fractured for whatever reason. Everyone, maybe it's just one of those things where it's like everyone is in, involved with your ego and your consciousness. And it's just, you know, someone that's comatose and their mind is fractured and scattered around. I don't know, like you had the big red guy who's like both anger and sadness, but then you got that blue guy. He Blue usually represents sadness, but he, I don't know, he, he didn't seem like a sad person. Who who the fuck knows? But anyway, that was Sad Muffin. I have no idea how long I've been recording. I think only eight minutes. So this would just be a quick way of concluding it, I guess. I don't know. Or I could just take some of the last part and shove it in this part and make it so both of them are at least around 15, 18 minutes long. Maybe I can do that. But I hope you enjoyed this episode and look forward to pos to possibly the full game whenever it comes out. We'll have to see. But either way, I hope you enjoyed Lonely Muffin. If you did, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a full scarper, the bell notification down below for updates of my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.